like having nobody here it's kind of cool I guess I'm kind of over all right getting everybody situated boy I like was off kilter yesterday so much so that I like I left <laughs> this is funny I left my iPad in the camper don't be telling anybody um, so I had a weird thing. I have a story for you about what happened to me last night, but I am Dory. I'm with Prairie Scraps over on, um, YouTube and Facebook and just kind of putting things together here, doing a chalk and chat. I've got a project to do. I've got another one I need to fix. I don't know. I like it. I just don't like it yet. Like I don't love it yet. So if you're coming on, say hey, make sure you do all the things, sprinkle the love, make sure, um, I know in my private page you can't do the sprinkling directly, you have to send it to people, so if you send it, come back on the video and put sprinkle. Um, if you do the S-H-A-R-E, hey Jessica, um, also put sprinkle on the video that you did and you can go back to any of the videos in June and sprinkle the love for me um, any of my live videos and I am going to be oops my little seashell there I'm going to be doing a drawing for this fun um, trance or this decor item this little tag um, it's actually good size could go on your door or whatever um, but this is what I am going to be giving away for the month of June for anybody who helps me sprinkle and sh and do the love. You know, sprinkle all the love everywhere. Sprinkle, kind of like glitter, right? Sprinkle the glitter. It gets everywhere. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. So, anyway, I'm putting things away from yesterday's video. Um, I don't know if you went over on Prairie Scraps. My prairie, okay, so I'm in Prairie Scraps Chalking on my private group and Prairie Scraps on YouTube, but I also have Prairie Scraps as a business page over in um, Facebook as well. And that is where I did the video yesterday for, um, I made some wedding gifts, made some wedding gifts from some tea towels and some oven mitts. And so I'm putting that stuff away here. I don't know. I need to find like I'm I'm I've really got a lot of like kitchen. That's the meat from scratch. I don't know where that one went. Am I sitting on it? Um anyway, who knows? I probably put it somewhere else. That's probably what I did. And I've got a loose one, but I really don't have a place. I need, like, I kind of, like, categorize farmhouse slash kitchen stuff together, but it's hard to keep track of my own self. At some point, I think I need to probably come up with some sort of organization. Maybe at some point I'll have enough where I could just do farmhouse in one. So, I'm a keeper. I'm a keeper, of course. Even after, sometimes after I use the, um transfers a lot I don't I still keep them I still keep them um, even if I don't really care for them because there are some that I like maybe like a few from way long time ago maybe I should show you I kind of hide them at the back of my books the ones I don't care for as much um, this one I really like the idea it was free and wild I think it was called or wandering free and it had all these little parts like for deer like deer um, antlers and everything, but the flowers intimidate me. I try the flowers over and over and they, they freak me out. I thought this phone wallet keys locked the door, kiss me goodbye was going to be a great one and I used it, um, but it wasn't a very popular sell. There's my blessed beyond measure. <laughs> I found it. Sometimes when I first started this, I kept all the back, all the bags because I'm a keeper. I finally like broken loose from that and not really kept all the bags, but it does help me get things back into place because where is so, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Oh, I got I got it inside the bag inside the thing. All right, 
so those are put away I just wanted to get those put away because those were yesterday's um, kind of did some kitchen type things so I've got a couple projects today the first one is I like I said I'm going to a wedding and I did this a while back I really love it it's the definition of love on there um, I love the idea about this love it says noun unselfish concern for the well-being of another affection interest pleasure and joy gathered from the full-hearted acceptance of another love makes reality better than dreams it's kind of cool but i think it's too plain too plain and i did do like a gray edging but i think i think i was being what would you say conservative with my color so i'm thinking about going around the outside maybe it with a wash of black i don't know i don't know that's this this is encouraging my cover is kind of full of black so i like to use what's in the cover first let's see what we can do today to kind of help this along huh all right get this wet too so i'm feeling tired today i don't know like i said i feel off today tired but I did do, um, I did a cleaning job yesterday during the day. Usually I kind of pawn off all the cleaning jobs these days to my kids. So I think, I don't know. I don't want this to look like a mistake either. Like I accidentally did this. I guess it's washable, right? Oops. So I can just wash it off. We'll see how this goes. I'm just going to touch it up. And then I was thinking maybe, oop. I just stuck it right into all of the um, that got dark right into the paste jar uh, mm -hmm. we're doing good today so anyway it was okay actually it went pretty good it did take us some time because we did refrigerator we did extra cleaning so that it was somebody else's move some they're having a retreat at the place we're cleaning so usually it's just like it's not just but you know like it's their employees that are living there so not that we don't always try to do a good job but we we had to do like we had to clean out the fridge and make sure things looked nice for extra guests from out of town guests so let's see what's saying i don't know we always try to make it a, a good do a good job of it but we don't always like go into cupboards and clean inside cupboards this was one of those moments we did do some in in the cupboard cleaning anyway it's still kind of a nice day today i think i'm gonna what do you think i think that's better i'm gonna go around the outside edge too um nice day but it's a little cooler this morning than it was yesterday yesterday got to 78 degrees for those of you are in who are in heat waves that's always fun we are not 78 though felt yesterday like it was a heat wave not that I'm complaining but this morning it, it did cool off last night and it sort of felt like to me it felt like it was gonna rain so maybe it will I don't know it just feels a little overcast to me and maybe I'm wrong maybe finally my little my little leg thing is not correct I don't know we'll see all right it is drying lighter stay out of the jar I'm gonna move that way far away okay so okay I got the dry oh so you guys know I because I, I've got a couple stories to tell you today my life is very exciting these days haha <laughs> because -ha. I'm not really doing a whole lot um So you know how I've been cleaning out the, uh, this is smart, put it on my right side, don't put them on the same side. Um, I've been cleaning out the camper, the craft camper, I thought, because I, I didn't do piano lessons this summer, I kind of pawned them off on Levi, um, because I was thinking that we were going to be under construction. So it's hard, like, with being on construction in the house, everything seems to gravitate towards my piano room. And so it's really hard to like clean it up every week to get piano lessons in. And it worked out good because Levi's motivated. He wants to teach this summer 
and make some extra money for college. So that all worked out. He's going out to people's houses and doing it in their homes, um, mostly my beginners and um, some a couple of my intermediate students. So anyway, that all worked out good. And then, like I said, most of the cleaning jobs, usually I, because again, Levi's been pretty motivated to earn money for college. He wanted to do the, um, I don't know what I think about this. Is black too stark? I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know what to think about this. I feel like maybe this board itself, maybe if I put a bow on it, that would be better. Something, something in the house. I, the problem is where do you put a bow for the house be, without blocking off the cute little chimney? Um, so anyway, so I feel kind of empty handed. I don't have any cleaning jobs this summer. I don't, you know, I don't, not directly. I'm managing it, but I'm not, and billing and doing all that and following up and doing the management part of it, but I'm not actually doing most of the physicalness of it because I kind of gave whatever I was doing over to Levi. And um, so anyway, I've been, I thought this is a great time to really work on my truck or tour business. So that's what, that's what my goal is this summer. That's why I've been on more, but I still kind of feel like in the morning because everybody's off to work or off to swim team right now. Um, I'm like, I'm going to do my videos in the morning, but it feels sort of weird. It feels really weird to be, it feels weird to be available. <laughs> I guess. I think, you know, I had this thought this winter cause I was in a vendor event and somebody said, I am, I don't know you guys, I, this is not my favorite, still not my favorite. Sometimes these, what I found with these boards are they're, um, got a little on the inside here. It's bothering me. I don't know. I find, I, I find it difficult to get them covered so that they don't look so stark, especially when they have the frames like this. I kind of, I prefer to pick up frames that are... already pre-painted because I don't have to think about it I don't know it's almost too plain for me can if you can believe that we'll let this dry for a minute and then we'll come back to it anyway so so anyway that's why we're here that's why I'm doing this right now because um because this is a good time when I have nobody Levi is working girls are either working or at swim team at this time so it leaves me unsupervised I am currently unsupervised okay this is my last of my my sandy blocks have been get, getting kind of, my sand and sponges I should say are getting kind of down to the nubbins here I thought I would I don't know if this one's this one was a sanding sponge and it has the handle which is what I really liked about for sanding irregular shapes and contours three by five at ace and it came with the three pack and the little back but personally I gotta tell you it's overrated that back I don't know anyway today I thought Oh, I didn't find the old oh, honey. I wonder where that is. Hope it's in here. Um, I I have not done these. These are the hexagon cutouts. They are no longer available. I'm sorry. Um, when I I don't know what I was thinking. I think or the it's called oh honey, the um cutout perfectly. So I was excited about using that, and you might have seen um Lydia do her ink hat and it had this little bee on it so she liked the bees I'm not super into bees so that's maybe why I haven't done a whole lot with this one um, but I saw it there I kind of when it came out it went out right away so it wasn't available to everybody so I kind of waited thinking oh it'll come out again and it hasn't come out so um, here we are 
I've got three of the hexagons. And I was thinking, I'm trying to get myself ready to go to our local, um, oh look, they put little silicone gel packs in those now. I was trying to um, get myself ready to go and do the farmer's market this weekend. And so I'm like, this would be a perfect thing to make and sell because it's not necessarily my thing, if that makes sense. Not that I, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what's best. Should I, maybe I should do it onto cardboard and then shoosh it outside. At least if I put the sandpaper. It's a dilemma, right? I was just checking to see if this one was completely gone or not. I remember right, these were kind of softer sand. I think it's gone. A lot of work for nothing there. Sandpaper, like regularly in the hardware store, is not cheap. And I love the fact that they have sanding blocks at Dollar Tree, but they're hardly ever available. Probably because I keep talking about them, right? Everybody clears them out. All right, so I just, of course, in my usual fashion, getting around the edges with a little sanding. Get these edges. Both sides, right? You never know. Um. So anyway, I kind of just, like I said, I keep everything. But now I'm thinking I need to get things out of here. So I will go through and get... Get rid of some things. And um, the farmer's market, as well as our... Oh, and then I found out yesterday that our, our um, art in the park, which is during border days and is usually on the 4th of July, the big day of parades and everything, in our big park, where our pool and everything is, where the parade kind of ends. And I was hesitating to join and do it because... But really wanted to. I was hesitating though because I really. Do I have to say this? I don't know. Maybe I need a soft one. <laughs> it's my saving thing. I'm trying to use things up, but I'm not. I'm not doing very good, am I? <laughs> um. But anyway, just wiping this down here so we can. Maybe I should sand that one. So because it's the 4th of July, but actually the Border Day celebrations, even though there's a parade that day, there's not a rodeo that day, which is kind of the big draw. So everybody kind of packs up on the last day if the 4th is just the parade. And so I didn't really want to pay for a booth at our park in order to um, and have it be a bomb because nobody's around. So I was kind of thinking about not doing it. So that was my whole thought process. And I've been hedging and hawing. Like, I should really go do it. It's a big event. And, um, anyway, but my coffee girl's like, are you doing it? And she's like, it's not too late to get in. They're actually doing it for two days. So they don't let, like, I can do my art, my finished crafts, but I can't do, like, chalk couture, I guess. It's supposed to be, like, handmade items. This might be looking better. And then paired with a bow, maybe. I'd like to give this as a gift with those towels, I think. I don't know. I tucked my daughter because we're going together. Maybe we're under two separate, two separate gifts at this point. I don't know. This, I tell you what, I, I kind of like the... Uh, The sponges at Dollar Tree better than this fancy dancy Ace one. This one just does not work very good. Seems like sanding always kind of softens up what you're making. I don't know, it just softens it up a little. Doesn't make it as stark. I don't know. Is that looking better? I think it looks better with it outlined like that. It's a little dusty now. 
I hate to go over it with water, but might have to a little bit. I think that looks better. Maybe waxing it would just kind of bring out that color a little bit. Sometimes wax helps too. It kind of just brings out the color of the wood. So anyway, um, so now I need to get myself down to the library to see if, see about getting into it because they're doing it two days. They're doing it Saturday and Sunday, which are the last two days of the month of June. So it, two days would be way better like to set up in the park, although I'm not sure how that works overnight. So anyway, that was one thing. Oh, my cleaning. I was started out my, do you ever do that? Like tell stories and then go the full round? Okay, I'm going to leave this set for a minute because I don't know. I like it better than it was. Better than it was. Now I have to decide if I want to do... If I want to do a bow on it. And I don't need to do that in front of you. So I've been cleaning out the camper. And I have about three or four bo three boxes, I think, of books I need to sell on eBay. And my husband offered to just haul it off to the thrift store. And I was like, mm, let's try selling them. Because they're all like school books and stuff. Like I know they should be pretty good sellers or whatever. But my I've had like 50 things all winter long on eBay. And something sells only when I go out of town. Something always sells when I go out of town. That's just how it works. I don't know why. Um, so <laughs> that's kind of how it goes. Which isn't very super often. Um... So that's how my whole thing with uh, eBay has been going lately. I definitely don't make money, but for me, it's like a nice way to get my school books back into the hands of other people who need school books or books in general, and then um, gives me a little extra money to buy school books in return in the fall in the during the year because I usually we use a lot of um, a lot of different like classical literature. So I decided, well, I'm here kind of thinking I don't have anything to do. I'm going to start listing those books because that's the most time-consuming thing. So not yesterday. I, I didn't get to it yesterday because we had cleaning yesterday. But um, I did, however, get... Um, what color is honeycomb? I was thinking a shimmer might be kind of pretty. Oh, 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 I've got the perfect color, you guys. I just got the new har a Harvest. This is it. This is it. This is a new color. Shimmer Harvest. Isn't that pretty? That's going to be it. That is the color. Now I'm excited about this project. I might like honeybees after all. <laughs> um, but anyway... Um, So I, I thought if I could just list like five books almost every day or when I have time to do it, or if I think I have no time to do anything or have time to do something but don't know what to do besides craft, right? Um, and it would get stuff out of here and it would not make my husband right that he should have just hauled it off last year. So that's part of the mess in here is that I've got boxes of books that I refuse to give up. <laughs> You guys are not like that at all. See, when hoarding or when you have to clean, then just go craft, right? That's kind of what ends up happening. All right. I'm excited about this. I'm just holding it up to the light to make sure I got it centered, close to centered on here. All right. I did um, fuzz it because this is the first time we're using it. Oh, and I should. You guys, I need to wax because this is wood. Um. So anyway, I listed five, would it be Tuesday? On Tuesday, I listed five books. That was my dedication. And honestly, I got to about four and was like, I'm exhausted. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I lost interest in this. But I persevered and did five and my efforts paid off. One of them sold. I just, I didn't even like sit there and think like, what should I sell this for? Anything. I just like did whatever they suggested some of them I did, a um, couple I did, 
they seem to really lean towards the auctions, but I hate that because then they go off after seven days or whatever the time period is. All right, we waxed it. It's wood, you wanna wax. Now let's try to place it again. Um, so anyway, that's, that's what I did and one of them sold. So now I get to ship it off today. So one book out out of, you know, I don't know, 500. <coughs> one book out. Aren't you guys proud? Um, So, I had another story. So anyway, speaking of which, if you have ever, ever thought about that you're either just starting Chalk Couture or like to try it out, don't know where to start, a great place to start is being a designer just because you get a big kit for $59 this month. It's normally $99. It's over $200 worth of product. It's a fabulous deal. So if, if you're kind of like, oh, I want this and that and the other thing, and then you get a one-time discount of 55% off um, after that. You should really join. Also, if you have purchased a fair amount, not that I want to shush you off from being my customer, but if you have purchased a fair amount of product and are still planning on doing some projects or there's quite a few things that you're like, ooh, I really want to do that, but I'm not ready to spend that money yet, this is a great way to get your products at cost. You have 60 days to use that original. Um, ooh, this is kind of dried on the, the lid for some reason. Um, you have 50 days to, or 60 days to get the um, original 55% discount. You want to make it a good one because you only get it once in your whole lifetime. So you don't want to like waste it and use it on something, you know, like a $20 item. The other cool thing about being a designer is you do get the club transfer as well as a website every single month for the same price as being a, a club member. So if you're a club member and want to convert to being a designer, you won't miss out on those exclusive transfers. And trust me, the paste packets don't come with it, but you won't, you won't miss them because you'll need more paste and you can get that at 40% off. So it's much more doable. Okay, so here we go. This is my first time using Shimmer Harvest. I'm pretty excited. It came and I was like, I'm not so excited, but I now am. I see the light. I see the light. I also see a bubble under here. When you put your transfers down, you do want to make sure all the bubbles are out because you don't want it to go underneath your transfer. These are reusable transfers. Let me think. Okay, so some other great things is uh, being a designer, you get to see what comes out earlier than everybody else <coughs> before everybody else like we're going to convention july 7th through the 9th in denver <coughs> and we get to see what's coming out you can even just do it online you don't even have to be there present to see everything that's new but um you can actually just do it online and get to see all the products and the launch is not until a week later the 14th the company was kind of explaining that, like, why does it take so long before we can order? It's because home office is going to Denver, too. <laughs> and they need time to get back home and get things organized after convention, because that's going to be a big deal. So there's that. And there's lots of other things. Like, we get a lot a lot of camaraderie. I love the group I'm in for Chalk Tour because they're so welcoming. We're not, it doesn't feel like a competition I got a little taste of that in another group, in other groups, because uh, in Chalk Couture, I haven't had a lot of exposure to people outside of our group. We, I've just had a lot of, you know, interactions like Zooms and stuff. All right, here it goes. You ready? Oh, I'm so excited. That looks so good. Oh, shoot. This makes me more of a hoarder, because I like it. Um... Isn't that cute? Look at that. So detailed. So nice, isn't it? I love it. Okay, we're going to close this up. We don't want that to dry. Set this aside. This over there. Oh, I'm glad I thought of that, you guys. That's so exciting. It's going to have a little glimmer to it, too. And then I could put... Oh, ooh, this is such a fun project. Um... These cutouts are great wood. Like, you can sell them as is, even as a customer. But, you know, as a designer, you can have some 
yourself to friends or family or give them as gifts. Isn't that a great shelf sitter? Is that cute? All right, we need to get this dried before I destroy it, right? So anyway, I love the group I'm in because I kind of, when I went to Pinners, I was with other ladies and it was nice learning about other ladies and stuff. But when it came down to like, running a booth and wanting to sell stuff they were really super competitive and it wasn't like we were all working <coughs> for the greater good for the customer right like we want to always like put off a better that's what i like about my i my the group i'm in there's so much about like my upline helps people who are in our group or not in our group she's just so good about it she's very business oriented but if you're a creator i also have upline that's creators and that's that's fun too or and other you know co-designers as well in our group. I just love this. This looks really pretty. I'm afraid to touch it. But with that uh, shimmer, I can't tell if it's wet or not. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's about being a designer. Back to my funny story. So I have kind of a funny story. I'm thinking my neighbor actually kind of realized it wasn't so funny later on. <laughs> because I, uh, funny story. When I came home from VBS last night, we drove in. Okay, so kind of a backer story. That a few weeks ago, my husband noticed a, a drone going over the whole neighborhood and kind of hanging out above a neighbor's house and was looking around for who was having a drone. And it happens to be someone, we have kind of a trailer trailer park. It's not a trailer park, but camper park. They're all campers in there. They're not really trailers. They're trailer campers. Call it a trailer park, but it's not the same as like having permanent trailers in place. Um, so these are less permanent over kind of kitty corner across the street on the next block and figured out who it was and kind of he works on my husband works on the Grangeville police trucks and sometimes the sheriff trucks and was happening to talk to one of the guys and said there was this drone and they were like well that actually is against the law to ride to drive a drone over people's houses like that and they're having a problem and complaints with this guy that my husband had figured out who it was I don't think he knows who he is, but at least he figured out the house he lives in. And between the two of them, had figured out this was the guy. <clears throat> so, anyway. <coughs> um, through this conversation, the policeman said, next time you see a drone up there, make sure you report it because we need to reply to it. We also live very close to an, an airport, so there's that too. And it's not, it's not like a commercial airport. It's, it's a private airport. So, or not private, but you know what I mean? Like we don't fly commercial flights out of here. God, there's a crow out there going crazy. All right. We're going to do, oh honey. I haven't used this one either, but I don't think it's going to stick as much because of all the chalk paste, the glitter. The glitter is there. All right. Black for this one. <clears throat> Back to my messy black here because I put water in it. Um, so anyway, my husband had told me all of this. And so when I came home after VBS, there was this drone flying over my driveway. And so I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then when I went, got out of my car, went in my house, it followed after me. And so I was asking my son hey, did you see that drone out there? He's like, I kind of did. What's going on? So he walked out and then I followed him because I thought, well, he's only 17, even though he's a bigger guy than I am and probably could take care of himself pretty well. <clears throat> um, so I followed out after him and this drone like follows me down the driveway and I'm like, what the heck? And I'm standing under it. It's flying over my head. It's flying over my head. It's driving me crazy. And... Um, so I'm standing there like, what do I do? And my husband was in the shower and he's taking forever for some reason in the shower. So I was too impatient. I was afraid that if I didn't, if I waited for him to come out. 
So meanwhile, the two of us are kind of walking up and down the street trying to figure out who this, you know, who's flying this drone. We don't see anybody. We kind of thought, well, maybe the neighbor is flying one because he, we figured he had one, right? And then, um, I don't know, we just kind of, we went down the other way. We're near the trailer park just to see if we could figure out who was flying it so that if the police responded in 25 minutes to a half an hour, um, we could at least direct them to who, to who it belonged to. So anyway, we did all this and then I finally decided, cause it kept following me. Like it's creepy. It's very creepy. And, um, I finally decided to just call the police. So I got on the phone and it's like, dial one. If you have this, if it's an emergency call 911, you know, I'm thinking this is not an emergency, but it is annoying me. Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Oh, honey. Isn't that pretty? So <clears throat> anyway, I get on the line. I'm waiting on hold. And finally, my husband comes out and goes, well, wait a second. Let's not call. It could be because he knew another person kind of on the next block that also had a um, drone. And um, so he's like, we're checking all the places. And as we're standing out the street, trying to figure out who this drone belongs to, all the while it's over my house. All of a sudden, my neighbor does come out and he goes, hey, are you looking at that drone? And we're like, yeah, kind of. In fact, I'm calling the cops. He's like, oh, oh, wait, it's mine. And he bought a new drone. It was doing like a landscape thing with the sunset and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> and it's totally programmed to go out by itself. You don't have to sit there and drive it. It's programmed to do certain shots and stuff. And then come back in to its home base when it's done. So he was sitting in his house with this drone doing like sunset type pictures over the top of my house. I don't know. He was just like, oh, oh, it's just me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. And I, I said, well, you know, there is a problem in the neighborhood because they've got this guy is. My breakfast is on my shirt, you guys. Do you see it? Somebody tell me. <laughs> That's bad. How long has that been there? Um, I am a mess. I'm a mess today. Is it in my hair too? I'm like, and he's like, well, I said, well, there's a problem because this guy is like scoping out people's houses and then going and burglarizing down the street. So I said, and you're not supposed to be over people's houses, blah, blah, blah. Cause he's a younger kid. So anyway, kind of funny. <laughs> Thankfully he caught me before I got through to the police. Thankfully, because that could have been a disaster. <laughs> like that would have been embarrassing. Not for me, maybe for him. Cause I have had lots of dealings with, I'm going to put a little wax. Cause I don't know if you noticed, but this, the Oh honey is kind of blurry. I think because it's up. I don't know if you can see the detail. It's kind of, stretched out a little and I think it's because of that glitter so I'm just gonna lightly wax it a little bit so it doesn't like soak into that kind of dulled it too I don't want to change the look because I really like the shininess of this anyway so that was my drone experience sorry you had to listen to me drone on about that <laughs> Cracking myself up this morning. Yes, I am. Oh, that wax really made a difference because now my bee is not sticking. Hmm. Not liking that. Don't wax. I don't know. They say if you don't want it to come off between layers to wax. Maybe I put too much wax. I don't know. This is going to be very gentle. Hope this turns out. I would like not to do this over again or be sad because this is like perfect to the point. All right, here's our B. Hold your breath. Oh, it looks good. It still is kind of schmeary. Still is kind of schmeary. I don't know why. All right, I like it. I like it. I think it's very cute. What a cute, easy project. What? 
under 30 minutes took me I was doing other things too probably 20 minutes to do this project and you have a little shelf sitter if you like bees this is an amazing thing you could use this surface for other things you don't have to just use it for the bees but I think it's very cute with the bees for sure I love that honeycomb for sure and I'm super happy I found that harvest shimmer so anyway you saw me put rough up and put edges around this one that I did before I think it's looking good it's growing on me I might try to figure out something to put up here I could put some hardware I don't know we'll see we'll see I'm not really certain oh maybe a little wreath up there you know like something that looks like this but smaller <laughs> obviously we'll see I'll post pictures in um, the groups so that you can check it out so make sure that you say hey if you're watching on the replay put hashtag replay thank you so much for sticking it out with me and all my stories today kind of funny things happening in my life even though i don't have like work oh i had started out way at the beginning like talking about how um this lady was in a vendor event and she was a vendor and she was going on and on and on about how she's a stay-at-home mom and blah 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 but then she had like all these other part-time jobs, not only direct sales, which I kind of consider if you're a stay-at-home mom, do direct sales to make some extra money. It's a legit job, number one, but it's kind of, it's still in the category of staying at home. But if you're stay at home and you have direct sales and you have a part-time job here and a part-time job there, you're no longer a stay-at-home mom. Anyway, I didn't say anything because I was trying to be really super nice and yes, supportive. You should be home with your kids, but I don't know. There's something about these days where... People think they're stay-at-home mom if they work part-time or if they work even sometimes full-time hours or if they work for themselves or have their own business, they still think they're stay-at-home. And it's like, and these same people are actually sticking their kids in daycare. That's the goal. Stay at home. Like I've always stayed at home, but I've often had jobs to go with it because we had to. It's not easy to be a one-income family. Here's my pedestal. I'm sorry if you just turn it off if you don't want to listen. But anyway, definitely stay home with your kids. Your kids will so benefit from that. I think it's so important to be home with your kids. So, so important. Stay home with your kids because your kids need you. They're only going to be this age for one time in their lives. And obviously, it's not doable for every single person on this planet. Look at that. I'm going to I'm gonna have to change shirts because I know it's oily. Um, and it's going to be a stain all day. So there you go. I'm on my second outfit. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. Um, <coughs> but stay home with your kids. If you can, if you can't do all the things to be there as much as possible, like I work at night or I schedule all my panel students at night so that, but I don't really consider myself like, even though I'm home teaching my kids, homeschooling my kids, I don't necessarily feel consider myself a full-on stay-at-home mom but I definitely support it because I think it's so important for kids to have their parents all 24 7 during the formative years hey Wendy good to see you you just caught my platform about being a stay-at-home mom <laughs> I don't know why but it just like triggered it like somebody had mentioned that they were a stay-at-home mom and then had like three other part-time jobs and I'm like that's not really stay-at-home mom Stay-at-home mom stays home 100% of the time with their kids. I understand that in these days and age that there are things you have to do to keep your kids alive, especially when things going up and the cost of things going up. I'm totally about that. I'm not negative, naysaying you if you have to work because I understand because I have to work. And But this summer, I am fortunate enough, Chuck Couture is my work. So you're going to be seeing lots of me. And like I said, I didn't mean for that to take a negative turn, but... It's just kind of silly that somebody thought they were a stay-at-home mom. Um, I don't know. Maybe we, maybe the qualifications have changed, and I don't know. But to me, a stay-at-home mom is someone who stays home all the time. But here's our Ohani project. Isn't it the cutest? Um, unfortunately, the Ohani transfer is available, and you could definitely do that on any surface that you wanted to. I think it's very cute. And that Shimmer Harvest is available, and, of course, our Black paste is available but this cutout is not I'm not sure what happened to the hexagon I thought it was very cute it went very fast sometimes with these things with chalk couture when something comes out and you see it and you like it grab it because you just don't know how fast it's going to go but like I said I've been sitting on so I might be doing a few of these here 
so I can get them out at the craft fairs. So thanks so much for joining me and make sure you do the sprinkles. Do the sprinkles. You want to be in the drawing for June. We'll see you soon and keep on crafting.